role of teachers. So, in this session, we will be learning about role of teachers in handling adolescents. At the end of this session, you will be able to discuss the role of teacher in handling adolescents. As we all know that adolescence is a period of stress and strain. So, it is a duty of teachers and the school to provide a stable conducive environment to the child where the child can grow to its fullest. As we have seen that adolescents go through lot of changes in their body, in their mind, at emotional and social level. So, they go through a lot of stress and strain. So, here teachers role is very very important to help adolescents to sail through this process smoothly. Let us see what can be done. We as a teacher should provide stable as well as conducive environment to the child. We need to maintain emotional balance of adolescence. What does it mean? It means that we need to train our students that they should learn how to control and manage their emotions. Knowledge of their psychology. We as teachers should understand the psychology of adolescents. It means that we should know what all they are going through. We just look at their symptoms and we think that those are only the effects. But we should understand why it is happening, what are the causes, what can be done at this stage. So, we, so for that we first of all need to understand their psychology. As they are attracted toward opposite sex. So, there is a need to provide sex education to students, where all the stigmas, the myths related to sex can be sorted out and proper guidance can be re given related to sex education. So, as we have seen in the earlier session that you know students or teenagers they go through lot of transitions. So, it is very essential that as a parents and teachers, we should provide a stable environment where we ensure that they are comfortable and they are given love and affection. So, that they can sail through this transition period smoothly. Maintaining emotional balance. As there are mood swings, there are some ups moments, some down moments. So, it is very essential that we need to train them to maintain or to balance their emotions. They cannot be abruptly showcasing their emotion. So, they need to be balancing their emotion and putting in a appropriate manner should be done in a proper way. Knowledge of their psychology. If we want to train adolescent, if we want to deal with adolescents, it is very essential that we understand their psychology. It means we have to have develop empathy for them. We need to understand what all they are going through. We just look at the symptoms and we react. We need to find out the causes. If a child is behaving in a particular manner, why he is doing so? So to understand that we need to know their psychology and accordingly we should plan our developmental task for them. Even this is a stage known to be where there are lot of physical changes taking place, there are hormonal changes taking place and these changes affect their social and emotional aspects also. So, and they sometimes fall into you know wrong things and there are certain myths and taboos related to it. So, it is a duty of teachers and school to provide sex education so that they develop right attitude towards their physical changes. 
so the first duty of teacher is to provide stable environment as we all know that they are going through the transition period and there are so many changes which are taking place so they look upon to their parents and teacher so there is a need of security conformity by the parents and teacher so we as a teacher should provide a affectionate and conducive environment to the students as we have seen adolescent goes through lots of mood swings sometimes they are happy sometimes they are angry anxious at times so we need to train them how to make balance of their emotion so here teachers can be training students to manage their emotions properly if we want to deal with adolescents effectively first we need to understand what they go through and for that we need to understand their psychology we need to empathize with them that whatever is happening around them they are not able to cope up with that so we need to understand their psychology and plan our strategies accordingly as we all know that at this stage teenagers are very curious about opposite sex they want to explore things and all this they get into wrong habits so it is a duty of school and teachers to provide sex education where there are all queries related to sex and its myths can be clarified besides this we need to take care of their special interests as gardner says you know every child has some or the special some or the other type of intelligence so they may be good at something they may have some special interest so the school should provide the platform where they can be encouraged to pursue their interests providing religious and moral education here when we are talking about religious and moral education here we mean that taking best of religious values and moral things because this is a stage where they are at the juncture of their moral development they start taking decisions what is ethical what is unethical so here the role of teacher has to be like a facilitator as we all know that emotions play a significant role in the life so emotion and satisfaction that interplays goes on so if we want students to be satisfied in their life so we need to take care of their emotional needs so for that first of all we need to identify their emotional needs so like belongingness love security all these cares all these needs should be taken care of provision for vocational education earn while learn should be mantra of the present situation which means school should provide platform where students can be enhancing their vocational skills by getting chance to opt for such courses where they can be earning also while learning there are so many courses nowadays available they can be doing computer there are plumbing electric electronics mobile so they can be introduced with such courses so that their energies can be channelized in proper direction as well as they can earn money for themselves at this stage there is a utmost need to arrange for the guidance services guidance services should not be limited only to vocational aspect there should be provision of guidance services at educational vocational even at personal level there should be arrangement of counselors if there are no counselors available then teacher should act like a counselor so so far we have been discussing about the teenage who they who transit from the childhood and they try to enter into the teenage and there are a lot of changes which are taking place and with respect to every change what can be done at teachers level 
so we as teachers or parents or even the policy makers whosoever are directly or indirectly related to adolescents need to understand their psychology and have to give them enriched educational experiences which can help them later on at their personal level their education level as well as at their vocational level thank you